Hello everyone, I'm Hazel Chavez and welcome to my channel. Previously, we discussed about the ICT collaborative tools like Twilio, Microsoft Yammer, Google Docs, and the like. Today, I will be sharing about the interactive multimedia. Most websites today are interactive experience. They can contain text, graphics, animation, sound, video, and even a three-dimensional virtual reality objects. A growing number of today's web-based applications and services are referred to as Web 2.0 applications. Web 2.0 generally refers to the applications and services that use the web the web as a platform to deliver rich applications that enable people to collaborate, socialize, and share information online. Some Web 2.0 applications such as cloud computing have been discussed in our previous discussion. Now the term, oh, this is our objectives to improve the interactivity of your website. We already created your website so today we will improve that we will add some multimedia to your website and then to identify the different multimedia content and of course yeah to embed multimedia content on website now the term multimedia refers to any type of applications that involves more than one type of media such as text images video animations and sounds Multimedia is used in a wide variety of applications, both on and off the web. While multimedia refers to the integration of a variety of media, we have also here the web-based multimedia. Now, a web-based multimedia is also called rich media. It refers typically to sound. Oops, sorry. refers typically to sound, video, or animation. Multimedia websites often contain other interactive elements that the user interacts with directly, such as playing or posing a video clip, controlling a 3D object, or playing a game. Now, multimedia web pages are interactive websites it often contains other interactive elements that the user interacts with directly such as playing or posing a video clip or controlling a 3D object or playing a game. In fact, the vast majority of websites today include multimedia. For instance, it is often used in web page advertisements such as photos and video clips in banner ads. As a regular website content such as TV shows and photos posted on TV network, websites, or podcasts and product videos avail available by a company websites, or as user-generated content uploaded to websites like uh, YouTube or photos uploaded to Facebook. Now, we have different elements of multimedia. Number one is the text. Text is used to deliver content as well as for instructions, menus, and hyperlinks. We also have here the images or the graphics. It refers to digital representations of photographs, drawings, charts, and other visual objects. We already discussed the common uh, graphic formats like the GIF or the graphics interchange format. We also discussed the portable network graphics or the PNG format and also the JPEG format which is the Joint Photographic Experts Group. So I will not uh, discuss that more further. So we also have the animation. It consists of a series of graphical images displayed one after the other to simulate movement like uh, Java applets, animated JFs, JavaScript web applications, and Flash and Silverlight animations are common on web pages today. Some animated elements require a plugin to be used. 
Another is the audio. It includes all types of sounds like music, spoken voice, and sound effects. And of course, the video, which is a continuous stream of visual information captured as a series of separate images or frames. Audio and video and images are frequ frequently compressed to reduce the finished file size. Web-based audio and video can be delivered as streaming in order to reduce the amount of time required before the content begins to play. Right, so we have here the uh, content of a multimedia. Number one is the sound, music, or the audio. Uh, there are a number of options available today for online music, such as listening to live radio, broadcast via an online radio station, watching music videos on mtv.com, or Yahoo Music, listening to or downloading music on demand via a monthly online music subscription service like iTunes Music Store or the Amazon MP3 and also we have the Spotify. The second one is the online games. Online game refers to games played on the over the internet. Now many sites, especially children's websites, include games for visitors to play. There are also sites whose sole purpose is hosting games that can be played online. Some of the games are designed to be played alone or with just one other person. Others called online multiplayer games are designed to be played online against many other online gamers. Online multiplayer games like Doom, EverQuest, Final Fantasy, and City of Heroes are just an example of it. The third one is we have the test, online test. In both distance learning and traditional classes, online testing, which allows students to take tests via the internet, is a growing trend. But both objective tests, such as those containing multiple choice or two or false questions, and performance-based exams, such as those given in computer classes to test student mastery of software applications can be administered and taken online. For instance, there are some or the skills assessment manager tests available for use in conjunction with the textbook to test both Microsoft Office. And of course, another content of multimedia is we have the uh, online TV videos and movies. Watching TV shows, videos, and movies online is another very popular type of online entertainment. YouTube and the Internet Movie Database or the IMDB have full-length TV shows and movies that visitors can watch for, for free. We also include here Netflix. And another content is the courseware or the web-based training. The term web-based training refers to any instruction delivered via the web. So what I am doing right now is an example of a web-based training. It is commonly used for employee training as well as for delivering instruction in an educational setting. Distance learning occurs when Never students take classes from a location, often home or work, which is different from the one where the delivery of instruction takes place. Distance learning today typically includes web-based learning or other online learning tools, and so it's also called online learning and e-learning, and is available to many high schools, colleges, and universities, as well as organizations that provide professional certifications. Distance learning can be used to learn just one task or new skill. It can also be used to complete an online course or an entire degree online via an accredited college or university. Typically, the majority of distance learning coursework is completed over the internet via class web pages, YouTube videos, webinars, podcasts, discussion groups, email, and learning management systems like Blackboard, uh, Google uh, cl Google Classroom are just an example of learning management systems. So, another uh, content 
Mungkin juga is the podcast. Podcast is an episodic series of audio or text files stream online. Like you know, we have the TED Talks is an example of that. We also have the podcast, an episodic series of video stream online. We have the YouTube series. Those are the multimedia content. Another one is we have the online writing or commonly we know this as blogging. It is another form of online writing sometimes used for educational purposes. Okay, we also have here the wiki, wikis, named for the Hawaiian phrase wiki wiki meaning quick are a way for of creating and editing collaborative web pages quickly and easily. Similar to a blog, the content of a wiki page can be edited and republished to the web just by pressing a save or a submit button. However, wikis are intended to be modified by others and so are, spe- and so are especially appropriate for uh, collaboration such as uh, for class web page or group projects. We also have an e portfolio also called an electronic portfolio or digital portfolio is a collection of an individual's work accessible to a website today's e-portfolios are typically linked to a collection of student related information such as resume papers projects and other original works some e-portfolios are used for a single course others are designed to be used and updated throughout a student's educational career, culminating in a comprehensive uh, collection of information that can be used as, you know, a job hunting tool. Okay, so enough for the uh, theory part. Now let's try to add some multimedia in our website.